Okay, so thanks to Tom Turchenbauer for letting me know about this. We now have pinOS on Raspberry Pi 5. Although this is a beta version and I've not had a lot of success, I'm doing my third installation and going to try that when that's finished. You can see that it's got 20 minutes to go. If you haven't seen pinOS on the Raspberry Pi 4 before, basically it's a way of multi-booting lots of different operating systems from one either USB stick or SD card or SSD drive and it works really really well on the Pi 4 great support but not a lot of support in this early days for the Raspberry Pi 5 but it's good to see it's being worked on so all the operating systems have been installed so let's click OK you can see I've got Recallbox and Raspberry Pi OS Lite uh, so that's the one without the desktop environment because it's a quicker install so let's hit boot and it does this and you should be able to just leave it to let it boot so let's click on recall box and hit boot and it just goes through a boot loop so uh, every now and then it will restart but it never really gets to an operating system but what we can do is press shift when it's on boot and then we get this happen you can see pin initializing so let's try again uh, so let's just go with the minimal version so Raspberry Pi OS Lite and let's go for this ARM HF Raspberry Pi OS Lite and nothing else and install you can see we get this option to delete what else is on there and then hit OK and yes and try coming back when that's all done okay so it says it's installed successfully let's hit OK as the OS to boot Okay, definitely looks like it's not working. I've tried booting from the USB socket with the SD card in it to mimic a USB drive, thinking that maybe it works with USB, but I'm still getting the same sort of boot loop. So what I'm going to try and do is keep pressing Shift and see if I can get into the menu. There you go. Uh, and then exit this menu and then tell it I want to boot this OS. Just move it up, see if that makes a difference. So ARM64 Lite and hit boot, and it's doing the same thing. So last attempt, I'm gonna flash the image to a USB drive and uh, see if that works. So I'll show you how to flash it so you can try it yourself. And it appears to have got stuck on this bit. Right, I switch it off. And then I'm gonna boot from this, which has got Raspberry Pi OS on it. Okay, so that's booting up Raspberry Pi OS. Let's plug in a USB drive to write pin to. So this is an SSD drive. So the website is on SourceForge. And if I call up history because I've already downloaded it. Must be this one. So this is the site where I downloaded it from, you can see here. So I downloaded this one, pin.image, 94.4 megabytes. Let's download it again just in case because it's only small and let's delete the old one so pin dot image and delete and let's wait for this one to finish you can see it was the same file because it's put a one after it so it doesn't overwrite the previous one but I've already deleted it now and once that's downloading because it's taken a while if I go to YouTube and leave PSP video pin because there's a link in here for the website for PinOS. Yeah, this one here. So if we scroll down, there is a Tom's Hardware story which mentioned this website. Yeah, Pin is a website. And you can see here, so this would be what you were writing to, SD card, USB drive, SD and USB. So if we would have picked, say, USB and then 16 gig. You can see Pi 5 actually shows up on here now as well. But if you click on it, there's nothing to choose from. So if I hit next or back, there's, there's actually nothing on that page. So this hasn't been populated yet. So you are better off to use this beta version at the moment. Let's close that down. Is that finished? No, still halfway through. And you can see a day ago, we had a Manjaro ARM or several uh, XFCE desktop interface, KDE, GNOME and Mate were added on. So that's good to see. Oh, it's finished now. Right, okay, so Raspberry Pi Imager. Choose OS, use custom, and pin, and open. 
to storage. So my 120 gig drive and yes. Okay, that was super quick. Uh, I suppose it didn't have to unzip it. Right, let's quit out of all this. Shut down the OS, which is currently running from the SD card. Now I can remove the SD card and press the power button to start it up, hopefully running pin OS from the USB SSD drive. Okay, so that's booted up. Uh, let's pick an OS. I'm just gonna go for Ubuntu and a minimal version of Raspberry Pi OS 64 Lite and then install and yes. And you can see it tells you a little bit about the operating system that's being installed whilst it's installing it. Okay, so it says OS is installed successfully, but it has said that three or four times before on the SD card, but let's give it a go. Uh, so let's leave it as it is and just hit boot and hopefully it'll boot Ubuntu. Okay, it's come back to where it was at the start. Let's try it again. Nope, same again. Uh, so let's pick the Raspberry Pi OS Lite one and hit boot on that, see if that's the same. Okay, so I press shift on boot up to get to this menu. Let's just have a look and see. So we click on this and more and then edit config. Just see what it comes up with. So you can see on this config.txt still says Pi 4 here. But then it is booting up in command line.txt. Mind you, this bit, the first bit is coming up. So maybe if I try cancel, click on Ubuntu and edit config. Right, so that still says Pi 4. Yeah, I wonder if it's still using a Pi 4 image. I mean, pin does do config.txt a bit different anyway. Just see if it looks the same for Raspberry Pi OS. Yeah, pretty much looks the same. Okay, so I tried and tried, couldn't get it to work. Uh, but just to show you how cool pin OS is uh, if it's used on a Raspberry Pi 4. And I've got separate videos on this and probably uh, some of my most recent videos on pin are worth watching if you want to know more about it because obviously it's in beta at the moment and I can't get it to work. But uh, if you pick, say, a 64 gig stick and then you said you've got a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, look at all the operating systems. So you've got Android on here, Android 13. We've got uh, a couple of versions of Ubuntu. We've got Gen 2 Linux, Kali, three versions of Kali, loads of versions of Lineage OS uh, from Constacang. Manjaro, KDE, Raspberry Pi OS, Twister OS. Uh, this obviously hasn't been updated for a long time, but it's still a great operating system on Pi 4. And Ubuntu Mate on there as well. And uh, there's more sections. So, you know, it just is great. So obviously over time, this is what it will look like for Pi 5, but not at the moment. But anyway, let me know if you've got this working. But I'm really glad to see that people are working on Pin OS for the Raspberry Pi 5. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.